that agriculture research, although it's such a small part of the Department of Ag budget, uh, this is research that yields, uh, uh, study after study has shown that ag research yields for producers and states up to $30 for every dollar invested. So while some people say kind of facetiously that uh, government in, is a, you know, spending is investment, this is one of the few things I can really say, yeah, it is an investment. And uh, to the extent that you can you know, visit with folks and support ag research that's going on out here, uh, that helps me do my job. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, we keep supporting these folks out here financially so they can be working with you uh, in, in, in their producer-driven uh, and basic research projects. So uh, with that, the college is doing well. Uh, we, we've got about three or four new faculty members coming on campus. So I'd be glad to talk to you about them. Uh, working hard with graduate recruitment. If any of you are undergraduate students and are interested in doing graduate work, we need more PhDs in agriculture. Come talk to us. Um, the other thing I'd say, I'm working on uh, recruitment. Uh, our undergraduate and graduate population in the College of Ag and Natural Resources set an all-time record this year. Uh, we're over 1,000 students for the first time ever. And I'm talking to colleagues around the country in ag colleges where that's not the case. So we've got good programs. We've got great kids. Uh, and, and I like to think that uh, we're also offering our students a, a really good future uh, when they get out of our program. So uh, teaching's going well. Research, you guys know all about extension. Uh, we've got our initiatives. If you have questions about that, uh, Glenn Whipple's here today. Uh, uh, I want you to know I'm, I'm completely committed to the extension and applied research mission of the college. And I'm doing everything I can in Washington with private donors to make sure that we keep the funding coming so people like Jim Freeburn, Jim Crawl, and your entire team here can keep doing their work.